Hi, it's Mr. Franklin, and in this video, we're going to explore the mousetrap car and talk about how does it actually work? What's the basics of a mousetrap car? So we're gonna start with a side view of the car. So I've got a mousetrap car here. This is the side view. So we've got a wheel, and remember, there's no restraint, it doesn't have to be a CD, okay? I've got a body of some kind. This one used rulers. I've had some made out of uh, foam, um, Legos, all kinds of materials. But you have a body, then you have a mouse trap. Has to be a mouse trap, can't be anything else. And then some form of arm, okay? So some form of lever or extension to the arm. And then there's going to be a string, okay? Now, the goal of the string is to take the string and we wind the string around the axle. So this little stick right here is called the axle, okay? And the axle has to turn. So if you glue anything, if you glue the axle to the body and it doesn't turn, then it's not gonna work. So the axle has to turn. And all we do, see if I can do it, because this is a bad choice of string, this example I'm using, because it's nylon, which is very slippery be very hard to wind but we're going to wrap the nylon around the, the back wheel and rotate it until it's wrapped around the axle and you can feel the tension in the mousetrap on the string okay so I've got it so to match my picture I've got it like this I let go of the string I let go of the wheel. If I set it on the ground, I let go. The mousetrap pulls the arm and the string causes the wheel to turn, okay? So, top view. We've got our axle. This is a four wheel design. I've seen three wheel designs. I've seen people try to use different numbers of wheels. Minimum required is three, okay? So we've got our body, we've got a body. We've got our axle, which goes all the way across. We've got a string, we've got an arm, and a wheel. Okay, now there's a piece that most people don't see when they're looking at this, and that is actually how is the wheel connected to the body? So we have this thing called the axle. So we have an axle. This is kind of like a 3D-ish kind of view. And then the, we've got the CD connected to the axle, okay? But how is the axle actually connected to the body? Because if you glue the wheel to the body, then the wheel's not gonna turn. If you glue the axle to the body, the axle's not gonna turn. So what you have to have is some kind of holder that is glued to the body that allows the axle to spin. So in this case, they used an eye hook. I've seen people use straw. I've seen people like, like a drinking straw. Um, I've seen all kinds of things, but this loop allows the axle to be inside and it allows it to turn freely, okay? And it's this loop that's connected to the body. So it can be made out of anything, but you gotta have that piece, okay? Something to connect the axle that allows it to spin, but can also be connected to the body, okay? All right, so what questions or what physics do we need to think about for this? So let's think about what is our goal. Our goal is to get the biggest distance, right? So we're trying to get a distance out of this. What's going to cause the biggest distance? So that might be our question. What causes a big distance to be traveled? So what do you think? Well, ultimately, we it's the wheel turning that causes the car to move, right? So that turning turns at a speed. So we have this equation, D equals, distance equals velocity times time. Notice this, velocity, 
wait, it's not V equals, what's going on? The, the amount of time that the velocity is applied tells me what the distance is going to be. So the amount of time that this velocity, this spinning wheel is applied will tell me how far it is going to go. So how can I increase, because can I necessarily increase the velocity? Maybe, maybe not. We'll come back to that. But let's think about time. From a sheer increasing of time, how can I make this wheel spin for longer? So that wheel spin longer? Question? It might be length of string, right? If I got a longer string pulling for longer, increase the time. But to get a longer string, what do I have to have? A longer arm. Okay? So a longer arm, this arm is called a lever, so that might be something we're looking at. Okay? We might also be looking at springs, because it's all connected to the spring that's inside the mousetrap. Okay? Um, This could be a physics element, distance and our velocity. Okay? Now, just a hint, if I make the arm too long, you might have problems. So it's, there's, because of friction and reality, we gotta find what is the sweet spot? What is the spot where it actually works? Okay, because in theory, the longer I make this, I could make it in infinitely long and it would get the best result, but it's not gonna happen that way, okay? Okay, what makes the car actually go, forces wise? Okay, it's the mousetrap, but ultimately it is the wheel pushing against the ground. Or is that right? If the wheel turns this way, the push of the wheel is that way. But which way does the car go? That way. So why does it go that way? There has to be a force going that way. Well, that's because of the force called friction. So that might be another one you have to think about. So that's something else you will have to think about for your design. If your wheels spin out on the tile, then your car's not gonna go anywhere. So do, do you need to increase the friction or is the friction of your wheel fine? You're probably gonna have to test that out. Okay. Let's see. I think there are other physics things to think about, There's, but I think this will give you a good idea of how to get started, okay? And some things to think about. Just keep in mind, this is the bare bones basics, um, and think about your physics. Just remember there is another list of physics elements in your POP assignment sheet. Okay. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, and I'll see you in another video.